Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Tech Focus Trending. Guys, please subscribe to my channel Tech Focus Trending. And today I am going to discuss about IntelliJ IDE. IntelliJ IDE, I like open the how to install this open source like the community version of uh, IntelliJ IDE uh, instead of licensed paid version. How to use open source version, that community version of uh, IntelliJ IDE. How to use and how to install and how to use that uh, IntelliJ community version, guys. In this video, please. Uh, uh, follow my video. I am going to show how to uh, download and install the IntelliJ IDE community version and uh, how to create some uh, basic Java application uh, with the using by using uh, uh, IntelliJ IDE, guys. I am going to show uh, before <coughs> to download to download uh, IntelliJ IDE community version. You need to go to this website jetbrains.com. This is community uh, for uh, <coughs> the website of jetbrains.com. Here you can download your uh, IntelliJ ID guys. So we can if we go to the jetbrains.com and we can observe here there is a developer tools. So if we go here developer tools, we have IDEs. Out of what kind of ID we want to download from the JetBrains, you can download. In our case, we are going to the IntelliJ ID. I'm clicking on the IntelliJ ID and there is an option called here download. So I click on this download, you can see. You can see the downloading IntelliJ IDE with Windows. Now, currently, I'm showing it Windows version. Uh, if you want Mac, you can go with Mac versions or Linux version also. And uh, in my in current video, I'm going to show only the Windows version. So, Ultimate is a paid version, guys. So, the, if you want to download Ultimate version, you need to have a uh, license, guys. You need to purchase a license and uh, you need to download this ultimate version for a free trial you can use up to 30 days with the ultimate version we have a lot of features guys compared to community version all the support for java kotlin maven git debugger also just bringing some jaguarth libraries j2w HTTP client javascript and all for ultimate the basic version open source version this is currently what we are going to download this one is the community version with this, we don't have uh, much support, but we have the basic support what we can able to run some Java applications by using Maven, Gradle and all. And we can communicate with Git also. But uh, we have only Docker with the plugin, uh, plugin, levels, plugin level support, guys. Directly, we don't have support. We can download with the plugin and we can use with the plugin level support for Docker. And remaining these profiling, all Spring, Jakarta, the HTTP and all, uh, for the community uh, version, we don't have support, guys. It's our open source one. You want to, if you need all these uh, support javascript angular react and all database tools and integration and all you need to purchase a paid version that is ultimate version guys so our case we are going to download community edition free version open source version you can download this uh, you can develop your java and kotlin development here so i'm going to use this download version uh, sorry community edition it's a completely free and built-in open source version guys so you know it uh, will uh, exe got downloaded thank you for downloading our details it's showing so we can go uh it's already uh, it's going to download with the six feet mb now i will show it's already uh, in my case already get installed i'm going to show that i installed one here you go jet brains you can see You open JetBrains, you can see already get installed IntelliJ IDE Community Edition. Once uh, installation done, guys, you can uh, <coughs> the download and installation done. You can uh, you can see there is a JetBrains toolbox within your uh, uh, this right uh, corner of your uh, tool uh, tool area toolbox area. You can see this IntelliJ IDE Community Edition. You click on this IntelliJ IDE Community Edition. You can observe so uh, opening. See now it's going to open. This is a free free version, guys. Open source version. And you can go. You want to create a new uh, new project. Go here, new. Create a project, new project. Click on this, and you can type your uh, project name, guys. Here, new project. We are going to create. Oh. App I'm going to create so location you can provide whatever uh, 
it is uh, by case i'm giving the location the default so if you have a git repository access you are, you are, you are pulling to pushing to your port to git you can uh, select this otherwise leave it as empty and language side java so you know, i'm not using a code link html no? now i'm using java very system intelligent and jdk jdk you can check guys uh we have all strong versions of jdk 11 and 19 so i'm using 19 so whatever version you have in the local you can add it here or it will uh, DJ will download if you have already locally installed you can add by using this add button otherwise intellij will download for you you can click on this download it will download the version whatever you want so now in my case i have 11 and 19 both i have i'm using 19 here so if you want to add sample code along with your project you can click on this sample code otherwise leave it as empty and click on create so where would you like to open this project so if i want to open a new window or you want to open the same window i'm using the same window so it will open the same window you can see here you can observe so hello i'm going to create it so here uh, here this is the java java 19 library i'm using java 19 so you can see jdk 19 is there within the source now empty it is empty empty project i have created we are going to create a class java class so we want to create a java class with package we can create directly you can create demo it will create otherwise if you want to create a package name you can provide from dot demo dot so create a class of sample class so we observe within the source folder earlier it was empty now it is on dot demo package got created within this uh, package i have a class called sample so now i have sample class i will create a in method so we need type main mm -hmm. provide the session sequence guys this type main you can get the public static void main and you can write your print statement yes this is session dot basic java java code so guys sample class we have created and we are running some main method within the main method we are printing something so we are going to run this uh, class sample class you can go here right side you can observe there is an arrow button run sample.java click on this so it is you can observe here it is building the parts of the building you can see here this is my output basic java code what i have written over here the output of console the system not out of print and basic java code that is coming here we observe that is coming here so that's it guys it's just a basic job but i will show you how to run with the uh, intelligent i hope it, this will uh, this understand for you and will help for you uh keep watch my videos and i'm going to show the, my coming videos i'm going to show spring boot 3 spring latest social setup the intelligent the latest java writing support please subscribe to my channel guys take focus training thanks for watching my video bye guys